Vitality is our ability to have spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical bliss. Some call it paradise. We call it a game. This is A Game, fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. This is A Game, fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. It's your man Ronan back with a, another five minute fire watch report. And, um, Today is a very interesting day. Starting off a new year, as you see the title, um, New Year, same OG, kind of. In many years, you start outright celebrating openly about uh, having another calendar year. But uh, I spent most of the day doing some interpersonal work, uh, reflecting on what got me to this point and mainly dwelling on my visions and aspirations for the future. And aside from uh, getting to need a haircut and as my dog is steadily snoring and intermittently farting, I started uh, showing a serious appreciation for the <clears throat> A-game family, A-game nation. I want to send a special shout out to the OG, Dr. Holman and the, his staff for um, helping me step out further outside my comfort zone. I'm learning a great deal. I'm appreciative of the uh, subscribers, both new and old, as they're growing with the content, so am I. And Initially, I was more um, nervous about saying the right things, allowing myself to be drowned out with uh, overthinking and being paralyzed by being an um, intentional perfectionist. It even got to the point where <clears throat> I was more conscious about not offending people. But in this new age, where things are basically becoming digitized and individuals could be anything online, you could be a ninja, you can be a um, porn star slash astronaut, you can um, have superpowers online, you could be um, a pimp that's selling weight while you're doing live streams, allegedly. I prefer to be myself. And this is why I named uh, my channel The Book of Ronin. Because like every man, we all are aspiring our, uh, authors. Every minute, every hour, every day, every year. Everything we do, everything we think, how we move, our interactions, we are respectively writing our respective books. Now what we do and all that, what we adhere to, it'd be the lost value system or the 10 life values. It'll help you define what kind of book you are writing, how you'll be remembered. Now, granted, I've had my humble beginnings uh, online. Salute to, uh, excuse me, Black Men Vent. Um, shout out to the uh, Master 1.0 who have helped groom me to be a better man at the time, but I'm much even be I'm far better than what I was back then. And everybody I've known, both good, bad, and indifferent, have helped uh, sculpt me into a better person. It, and some hands-on, but most, by example, I learned how to take the information, both good and bad, the scars and the uh, love and help to um, piece certain things together that either were missing or needed refinement. 
but this is more than just me. I share a birthday with my brother, uh, T. Smitty. Um, and a myriad of others who share the same birthday. One of the greatest gifts that I can receive is a testimony from people I've given a good word to or inspired somehow by my example, a sense of leadership, um, looking to do what I can do to not just bring my visions to fruition, but to help heal, not just myself, but my peers. As my brothers out here every day are in the middle of spiritual warfare. I'm at the point where it's cool to celebrate a birthday and I'm responding to birthday texts and phone calls and whatnot and able to help strengthen some bonds, even reconnect with people that I haven't talked to in a good minute. However, um, I know I intentionally submitted to a mission that's greater than me. Some may say I'm crazy. Others may say all kind of other things, but you know me, I can give two fucks about the negative things that are said my way. I'm learning to turn my weaknesses into actual strengths. There's been assistance by those that have earned my respect. Others, I had to close certain chapters. But committing to the 10 life values has helped me unlock a lot of things. Some things I locked away, some things I was uh, not prepared to address. But with each passing day, with my commitment to not just become a better man, but a better steward of my time. And to the best of my ability, a, a supporter, um, either sage or um, creative hand to help not just myself, but my peers and those in need. So one of my many gifts out here is to um, communicate aspire to be a better communicator. And there's many things that I will execute in order to fulfill, uh, facilitate that role better, move better um, in spite of these uh, scamdemic times. I'm gonna do the damn thing. I've seen, I received a few uh, negative emails, but you know me. I'm an asshole with principles. I thought about responding to them immediately, but I'm gonna do things different. I'm gonna speak on things on my own time. I'm gonna do things that best express my thoughts, my uh, commitment to the mission and um, manner of self-expression. So all I wanna say in closing, I want to thank all you guys, both uh, value peers that I embraced as family or something more of an intimate uh, setting to all the uh, living abortion survivors, you uh, coat hanger abortion uh, escapees, all you human dingleberries that have uh, try to be masking obstructionists who have thrown a lot of slings and arrows and you have the accuracy of a drunken uh, stormtrooper. I want to thank you guys too, because uh, you always have to give a shout out to your disgruntled fan base. These are the uh, soulless, dick-eating motherfuckers who get up earlier than you and they tune in to see whether you've uh, fell off of your dream, your mission, uh, been injured, failed. They need something to make them feel better, knowing that they should have been swallowed, but their parents, especially their mother, deemed them unworthy of the indigestion. 
So I want to say unto you guys. Mm. Fuck you, it's a red cactus branch. Mm. But to all my family, the people who support the growth of not just this channel, but mm. the creator itself. Mm. Your influence is most appreciated. Mm. Even the ones who try to uh, micromanage the message somewhat. They're starting to learn how to step step aside and let me do my thing. Most times it's best because um, I'm very expressive. The only ways that I view as uh, best I can. So today, with my first official day at 46, I have a lot to do and I'm committed to fulfilling the mission as best as humanly possible. So for when it's time for me to pass the baton, it'll not only be within the hands of a worthy uh, carrier of the message, but I will pass it on with the satisfaction that I've made a good run. Slow down my pace and prepare myself for the next event, the next chapter. But until then, I'm going to do my best to be the best representative as a Marine Corps veteran. My brother's keeper, an admitted curse breaker, and the relentless, sarcastic, <laughs> soul etherin motherfucker to all those who oppose not just my mission, but who get mad that I wake up every day. The one that gives the devil a straight up migraine. Oh, uh, this son of a bitch is back up again. What's he up to? What's he gonna say? And that's the billion dollar question. So, as always, never allow your comfort zone to become your coffin. I know it's some monotone, but I've been running around here acting a fool, uh, getting everything squared away for the mission ahead. Because tis the season to be beefing. However, in a positive way, I'm going to be in the uh, dojo, learning many things pushing myself, refining myself, and making good on my time. This is what we need to do as men, redeem our time. So to you guys, I send a salute. And to all you uh, pieces of shit out there who are looking for to beef and all this goofy stuff, even though you have asthma, sit on and spin until you uh, fall off an overpass and kiss the business end of a truck. Till next guy, till next time, Semper Fi, and always, if you don't like me, <laughs>